racers, welcome back after a very, very long break. Oh, there were things which uh, made me to postpone a few weeks or months. Uh, I couldn't race, so back to Assetto Corsa, straight away into the career, just to push it a little bit forward. I don't even remember where I am in Assetto Corsa career. Intermediate Series 2, from what I can see, 0 5, this is 5 of 5. So straight to a first race, quick race in Mercedes SLS. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Uh, cannot see the difficulty there. Medium, I think medium is a good one. Um, everything should be set up. No, something is not, I'm sure. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of gearbox that car has. So I quickly jump into options, controls, advanced, and I will make sure that H shifter is on. Um, Okay, perfect. That's the only thing I really need and want. So back to career, back to intermediate. Series two, do that quick race of the SLS and start. And I think I forgot to enable damage. I, I have damage disabled because I started a new project where I'm trying to learn how to drift. And as you can imagine, I'm crushing a lot. Uh, okay, let's do this one race without damage and then I'll enable it. Um, it's not a biggie. So, um, I don't think I'll be changing anything here. Let's keep it all default. It's a medium difficulty anyway. Um, and let's start. Let's see what kind of gearbox that the car has. I really don't know. I can see puddles there. So, okay, so little puddles. Sounds amazing. That Mercedes has our amazing acceleration. But I'm definitely not catching up to the first four guys, and the first one is driving away like crazy. Not a good start, so let's restart. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to set up my sound. Uh, it's a bit too low. That sounds good. So this whole start situation is very misleading because this car has amazing acceleration. But it feels like this. And it feels like, okay, this is going to be an easy race, right? I'm up over... I'm overtaking everyone so easily because my acceleration is so good. guys here, they're not bad at all, and suddenly I find myself in a position there, where on a medium difficulty, they kind of showing me where my place is, right? But let's see, let's see, I can see, I think that's KTM, right, in front. Two more SLS. So I should be performing at least at their level. But the guy in the first place, it's like 200 meters in front already. Like, what is he doing? What is he driving? Is it McLaren? I'm not really sure that it was McLaren or not. Okay, I had a better exit. That's good. I don't think it's the best place to overtake. Especially I'm driving quite a heavy car in comparison to the KTM. I can only imagine it will be doing better in turns and corners. Whoa, 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 
ignore the fact that I was there next to him. I'm pretty sure I left him enough space. Oh, I love how that spoilers, uh, spoiler leads up. Okay, let's jump out of this truck and let's try to outbreak him. Maybe this as well. Wow, they break him really early. To be completely honest, that, uh, that fooled me. So uh, I was, I don't know the braking points in that car on that truck. This is the first time I'm driving that thing. And I was relying on using the same braking point as AI. And that guy fooled me. I'm, well, I'm saying guy, I mean AI, right? But yes, I was definitely fooled. I bra we, we broke way too early. Okay, but where is the first... First AI, I mean... Oh wow, already at the U-turn there. <laughs> How am I supposed to catch him? That, that doesn't make sense. Breaking way too late here. Oh, definitely. I cannot see him. What the hell? What is he driving? A rocket ship? Is it Max Verstappen? In the Red Bull? Trying to find my breaking point. Well, I know it's enough to be third, I think. My question is, is it winnable in this car? I, you know, I'm aware that there are aliens between our series, right? And people who are a few seconds faster per lap than I am. But the AI is seven seconds faster than me. Let's say after uh, quite a few laps of practice, I'm able to improve by another two seconds. Let's say maximum three. That's still four seconds off. guys in the same car, on the same cars there were two as mine, they, I cannot even see them, right? So, they probably could have that AI on a higher level, difficulty level, or their skill level. If they were in the same cars, I would still be able to compete, but whatever is in the P1, amount of fuel, but that, that won't give me 7 seconds, no chance, per lap. That was also to 20, so that was like, what, 6 seconds maybe? 
Okay, that breaking point was close to where I wanted to, to be. German technology, at least that car has traction control, which makes things a bit easier. This is another second out of my time that we may PB. Maybe over the chicane. But it's around a second, so it's uh, still five seconds to slow her lap. That's like 20 seconds. In addition to that, I'm starting from what? The last place. He, he or it, AI, let's call it he, just sounds better. Starts from P1 probably. I'm questioning uh, capability of anyone being able to win this at the car. Uh, I think the game waits a certain amount of time or if everyone finishes the race, so... Let's look back now, I can't do anything. I don't know, it's a bit shocking. It's, it feels like someone wiped the floor with me. Um, I have achieved tier 2, yes, of course, because what was the first one? It was McLaren, MP4-12C, 214 versus 219, 39-36, that is pretty much a 5 seconds difference per lap. It's 20 seconds on the whole distance, I, I just don't see how I could achieve that in that car. This is just medium difficulty, this is crazy. Uh, I'm going to try easy, or whatever the lower one is. Um, <laughs> it feels embarrassing to reducing the difficulty to a lower level, but so wait, I put it on easy. There is still very easy to go down to, um, but yeah, let's try easy. Uh, okay, so. Clutch off, gearbox off, automatic blink on, uh, off, factory, factory, and I was about to enable that mechanical damage. Back to 100% where it should be. Tire wear, yeah, okay. Everything else is as it should be. So I'm going to give it another try. I lowered the difficulty. This is just because I wanted tier 1, but the McLaren is so fast. Um, yeah, I think if not the McLaren, if they would be just all the other cars and two of them were the same Mercedes I'm driving, probably I could bump it up to hard. Uh, <laughs> let me reduce the amount of fuel I'm carrying in that car. Um, I don't know, four laps, 
five liters per lap maybe, so what, 20, 23, oh, that's probably still too much. Yeah, okay, keep it 22. I don't think I want to change anything here. I don't have enough data to start playing with all of the setups and this, that's pointless really. Okay, let's try to... Well, try to do it, that's not much else to say.
so my time is two minutes. That's my best time so far, better than in the previous uh, attempt. But I'm nowhere close to 2.14 that McLaren was doing previously. When I have a chance, I'll have a quick look back just to see if, whoa, 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 if I can see. Oh, he's like what? Two full corners behind, three corners. What I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this. Just to get a tier 1 win. Or tier 3, I'm not sure which one is which one. And then I'll try to bump the difficulty back to medium and we'll see how the AI behaves on the second attempt in medium. So that was way too easy win. Oh. 
feels really strange. Um, I think there's something wrong there in setting up the difficulty level. I really want to see what times that McLaren is capable of on that difficulty and I want to see the difference between the medium and the easy. This is just one level, one difficulty level difference and it feels like the, the time difference is more than 10 seconds per lap on that McLaren. KTM was second this time around. And the Mercedes are nowhere to be found. Already a minute, 10 seconds wait time. Uh, there are two Mercedes and then a BMW. Come on, do we have to wait so long? So he was 27 and a half seconds behind me. Previously, so that's 2.25, 11, almost 12 seconds slower on per lap between the medium and the easy. Uh, that just doesn't make sense. So let's quit that. We, I achieved the, the tier, the first place tier. Still don't remember if it's tier 3 or tier 1. Um, <coughs> let's go back to this race and let's bump up the difficulty back to to medium. Here we go. So medium. It, it seems like it changes whenever you start a new, new race. It's not consistent. It just doesn't feel consistent. The last time he didn't leave me any space. This time. I, I wanted to say I, I won't leave him in the space, but uh, it costed me early. Okay, there's no point in continuing that, so I'm just going to quit. Um, I don't know. Uh, it feels like I'm cheated a little bit by that AI. Let's switch to the second quick race. It's the same car, just different racetrack. Hopefully there is no McLaren there. Let's have a quick look at the description. I didn't have time to, to do it. Mercedes-Benz is organizing some open club races for their clients. They offer you a brand new Mercedes SLS AMG first event at Nürburgring GP. And the second one is Imola Circuit is the place of the second Mercedes club event. The SLS AMG is a very capable car, but Imola is as dangerous as always, so pay extra attention as you jump from one curb to the other. Let's try to jump between curbs. The difficulty is medium, and I'm going to keep it that way. Let's start. That scares me when I think about all those... Uh, challenges which require winning uh, at the alien difficulty level. I think I did a few, and I, by a few I mean, I mean one, <laughs> um, but yeah, that will be really hard. So let's go down, I'm assuming there are four laps here, and I know that 12 was enough, so I'll... should be enough, and let's drive. <laughs> Four laps, okay. Position nine. There are some Ferraris here, which makes sense, right? We're in Italy. Italy, Imola. Yes, the acceleration of the Mercedes is quite amazing. Now, this is my first time in that car on this racetrack. Let's try to keep in the track limits. I know the truck, but I don't know the combination of that car and the truck, so that requires practice. That Lotus is a really capable car in those corners, and it's not giving up. Close the door. 
guy. I'm trying to guess my breaking points. Okay, I should be at least able to catch the first of us, right? The same cars at the same level. and try again. I was braking too. Okay, so I was trying to find a better braking point and it was too late. Uh, I have to restart again. But um, I have a feeling that I'm learning uh, that combination of a car and a truck better.
his, uh, his driving became really chaotic. I lost the predictability of that Ferrari in front. I have two more laps to try to overtake. My time could have been much better, but I was slowed down by that uh, Ferrari P1. Okay, that was quite surprising. So, okay, this is the same difficulty level, but after the restart, and this is not the first time. We saw that before, when Assetto Corsa shows lack of consistency, when it comes to the difficulty, those AI drivers became significantly slower even though the difficulty is exactly the same and the only thing that I did was to restart the race. It, the behavior is really strange. the difficulty changed uh, between two different attempts even though I personally haven't changed it. It was race 2 of uh, Intermediate Series 2. 
so unfortunately we have to wait for it to finish. 4.7 seconds advantage over second uh, on the previous attempt with this time I would have to fight really hard uh, to get to P1. I think the AI difference on the lap will be somewhere around a second slower attempt. So I got faster a little bit too. Which is expected because uh, the first attempt is uh, counted as a training, right? And this is tier 3, where I wanted. Well, that, they, that AI was really, really slow in comparison to the first attempt. It was doing one high 59s, now 2.2 2 minutes to seconds, 0.5. So, so the, the other Ferrari was quicker, but still, they were considerably slower than on the first medium attempt. So that's that's how how strange the Aston Corsa is when it comes to the difficulty. I'll try I'll do one more um, which will be quick race the same car just different track Silverstone this time. Silverstone circuit has typically cold weather make sure you keep your tires warm up but also control overheating at the very fast bends. So this is GP the long version of the truck. Not my favorite truck, it's it's kind of flat. Uh, not the worst, but not my favorite one. But the next one is Spa, and that's definitely quite high on my list of favorite race trucks. And here we go. So the only thing I change is uh, fuel level. If only I clicked it. I don't feel there is need to change much more in that car. It's not like there are a lot of settings to change really. So, And to be honest, I don't see point in changing any settings if I haven't done a single lap on the truck. So I don't even know how that car behaves and where the braking points are and so on. So. so we see a lot of uh, British cars here, which of course makes sense for your the heart of a uh, motorsport in Britain, Silverstone, a Formula 1 racetrack. One I visited myself personally a few times. Not as a driver, of course, as a spectator. All those uh, visits were for a uh, WEC Series World Endurance Championship. Slide there, so I had to counter steer quickly. Oh, I barely made that corner again. The car is heavy. <laughs> I'm all over the track. Control by the the car. Uh, I'm driving with the factory settings. 223 versus 225, so I'm uh, two seconds slower at that stage. Really surprised. What an asshole. Seriously. <laughs> I messed up, okay. Restart. Okay, I think I uh, more or less know how the truck goes now in the car. Let's use the acceleration to overtake a few before we get to the first corner, which is right here. We get another one somewhere here, there is a gap, there is a gap. Oh, there is a McLaren there, okay. The same McLaren which was crushing me at the end
I messed up really badly. Somehow saved it. But it wasn't clean. I forgot to change the tire pressure. So this tire is getting cold already. Still, 
enjoy this little more soft. Every single minute I'm, I'm driving in this game. If you look at the car, the tire model, there's a lot of things which are uh, which are missing in the game. In this game, don't get me wrong. As I said, it's old. But even on PlayStation, where I'm driving at the moment, there are no bugs. Just this number game, what you get out of the box is, is all what you get. It's still such a good scene. So much fun. And I love the fact that there are all those road curves. I mean, as the course of competition is so much more advanced in every aspect. If we would compare it just to Corsa, the Corsa competition is just quite low pace, but but it's limited to the GT4 and GT3 cars, and if you want something different, it's just not there. Right? That's the Corsa. There's such a diversity when it comes to cars. Like I'm really enjoying driving this SLS AMG. Something I wouldn't need to do in as the course of competition. And I think even the online thing of both games, uh, there's so many more players playing or sim racers. Uh, you know, driving in as the course of competition. Racing, and if you ever try and the Corsa for whatever reason, you should give it a try. You're going to love it. That McLaren uh, got a bit closer, I think. And I'm not driving much slower than my previous lap. This is. Uh, very consistent, I would say. One ten for seconds, maybe two ten for seconds. Even got closer here in those last corners previously. I got other this year. I was competitive enough, I think. I was pretty nice. Uh, someone got a faster lap by a huge margin. More than a second quicker than, than I was. Really cool, really cool. Okay, I think that's enough for today. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of driving today. I did uh, my first lesson uh, in drifting. That went horrible. And I put my 11 year old son first time in this rig, so he tried some driving. He did considerably well for someone who tried it first time. And being 11 years old, he barely has legs long enough to reach the pedal. So, yeah. And now I did all that. Uh, it's a quick race. Uh, we are in the Mercedes, or I am in the Mercedes SLS AMG. And the whole thing takes part of the Spa circuit. Spa Franco Champs is an amazing circuit. It needs power, predictive handling, agility, and grip. The Mercedes SLS AMG has it all, and with your skills, it should shine in the circuit. But the opponents are very strong. Everybody loves to race at Spa. Well, the last part is definitely true. Spa is an amazing track. Uh, the, the, the part about skills, I'm not so sure. Uh, okay, so opponents are on medium as usual, and we'll see how Assata Corsa handles the difficulty today, because it was very, very selective when it comes to difficulty previously. <clears throat> sometimes medium seems to be hard, and uh, sometimes medium seems to be very easy. I don't know how exactly that works. Uh, can be the same car, the same truck. 
it's enough to restart. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see in a moment. Here we go, the car's ready. The setup is not though. I won't be changing much, just uh, reduce the amount of fuel as usually. I don't think uh, there is need to change anything else in that car. Uh, don't have enough experience in that car on that truck to, to do any changes to the setup. I'm really curious uh, what will be the best lap time of uh, P1 and P2. In comparison to mine, uh, it should show at the end. Um, so I achieved tier one, third place. So the best time of uh, that Ferrari is two minutes, 30 seconds. The McLaren is two minutes, 38. Mine is two minutes, 45. I'm 50 seconds per lap slower than the Ferrari and uh, seven seconds slower than McLaren. This is crazy. I wish I could actually jump into the Ferrari and check how I would perform against that AI. The Mercedes on P4, which is the same car as mine, is very similar time, a second slower, which seems to be reasonable for a medium difficulty. The cars behind uh, have similar times, the two Lotuses and the Expo. But those two front runners, this is crazy. There's no chance of winning, but now we'll do an experiment. So I'm going to go back, the race is finished, I'm going to restart and we will see how the restart itself changes the behavior of the AI. I'm not changing difficulty, I'm staying in medium, I'm restarting the race, no changes to the car, the same fuel, let's see. So I'm really, really curious to see the times. Uh, I was, uh, the best time was around, mm, not to lie, 1.3 second quicker, 1.4 second quicker than our previous attempt. The last lap was horrible in comparison because it was almost a second slower, but it wouldn't change anything in terms of uh, position. Unfortunately, I have to wait. There's nothing I can do here. Um, So the Ferrari slowed down by three seconds. Uh, previous attempt was two minutes, two and a half minutes per lap. Now it was 2.33. The McLaren slowed down by another three seconds too. So from 2.38 to 2.41, I gained uh, around, let's say average one and a half seconds. Um, I won't be able to, the, the KTM, which is in P4, was uh, much quicker than our previous attempt, two seconds quicker, I think. I'm just curious if that uh, difficulty is somehow dynamic. Like, is that AI uh, learning how fast I can drive? But again, if it do, or if it does, why the Ferrari is still so much quicker, right? And now this is a drag race to the finish line. And I managed to keep the P2. But we could see how easily that McLaren was uh, out accelerating that Mercedes I'm driving. So this is P2, this is improvement. Uh, previous two attempts were P3. This is not an improvement because I suddenly started driving so much quicker. It's because the AI slowed down again. So that McLaren now slowed down the whole seven seconds uh, on two restarts. The Ferrari slowed down by five seconds. It's still 10 seconds quicker per lap. See the difficulty. So I'm reducing to easy. Uh, the camera covers it, so I had to disable it for a moment. And then I'm going to try that on the, on the easy difficulty and we'll see how that Ferrari behaves. A one level difficulty lower. Start as expected. I should be gaining some positions here in the braking. 
Wow! Oh, whoa, 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 that was very, very, very dirty. So, let's restart. Okay, to be completely honest, there is no point driving. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart. And I will see if the restart affects the difficulty again, because uh, that is what I have noticed so far. It's not displaying it. But it's 10 seconds in front. Obviously, I won't be able to catch up with that Ferrari, it's still too fast, so following the experiment, I'm restarting again. 7.2 seconds, so I lost another 1.7 seconds. And I was too late on brakes here, while trying to check the time lost, but I gained 12 seconds over the McLaren, that's crazy. Okay, uh, another restart. That's gone. Okay, another restart. And... Yeah, this is, this is not helping. But no matter how much I would accelerate, that Ferrari is still out of reach. Okay, I think I am uh, giving up at that stage because uh, obviously I won't be able to win it that way. Um, that Ferrari is just too fast. The pure speed, a demon. Um, but I won that first place here, so I'm going to further reduce the difficulty to very easy. I cannot go any lower than that. And I want to see how that Ferrari behaves in the difficulty level. Uh, with times anywhere between two high 243 and 245, I was not able to be fast enough to to achieve P1 against the Ferrari. So this time I'm trying the same on an easy difficulty. Uh, sorry, very easy difficulty, the lowest difficulty there is. This time both cars, the Ferrari and the McLaren, are significantly quicker, even though I reduced the difficulty to the lowest difficulty possible. So I'm going to restart and we should see a difference straight away. Oh, Hasetta Corsa, you're costing me a lot of time. And sanity.
you I'm going to be bumped. Okay, so that Mercedes slowed down. And I think those two cars slow down as well. I had to lower it all the way to the lowest difficulty, but you know, let's wait. So now what? McLaren became quicker than the Ferrari. That would be a new one for me after like what, seven or eight tries? I'm learning a new stuff about the game every single moment of driving in it. McLaren is somewhere there on my right. I need to leave him enough space. And suddenly that Ferrari doesn't have the speed it had before. Like this is just not driving for driving itself. Where is the racing in it? It's just so pointless. They, they introduce seven difficulty levels, but they do not work. They're completely useless. It's really hard to find a difficulty which gives you the, the racing experience. This is quite cool actually at that stage. Medium and easy, they were too fast. I mean, the Ferrari was too fast to, to even keep up with it. And then reducing it to very easy did not fix anything to start with. But then restarting the race, that slowed them, slowed them down so much that I don't have anyone to race with now. So stupid, really. I'm just going to finish this just to get the kind of gold medal, let's call it gold medal, or tier 3, so I achieve tier 3 here in this. Uh, in this race and that's it. So pointless. Like, I completely understand that if they were too fast on medium, I accept that. I'm not fast enough to win in on medium with that Ferrari, but... You know, at least I'm happy with myself that I was able to win with uh, with the McLaren after restart, so not, not completely true. But with the, with the Mercedes, which is exactly the same car. And then after a few restarts, the difficulty changed to the point where McLaren was slowed down, I was able to win with McLaren. But the whole idea of having seven difficulties is that they're consistent, right? If I start medium and the cars and I'm achieving P3, then I should be achieving P3 every single time as long as I do not improve. Or I should be close to achieving that P3 every single time. It may change, obviously, right? And AI may, should be able to make mistakes as well. But then if I reduce it to, to easy, that should change the difficulty to a point where, you know, I'm performing better against the same AI because I reduce the difficulty. And if I further reduce it, that should adjust it again. But it doesn't work like that in, in Assetto Corsa. It's all over the place, it's messed up. I don't even have now a wheel or, or the drive to actually try to perform well. I mean, what's the point?
Well, that time actually wasn't too bad. Fourteen seconds over the McLaren, I think it's, uh, it's first. I mean, second. How stupid is this? From not being able to win on difficulty one higher than this one to having an advantage of 14 seconds after two laps by just losing it by one, by just single one point. Probably should uh, do some research on YouTube just to see what uh, other people experience. Uh, you know, I know that most people prefer to do online racing and I do that as well. But I want to play around with the AI as well, especially, you know, when there's a career career mode. Even if it's as pure as uh, as in uh, as the Corsa. Also those challenges, I like them as well. Uh, but anyway. like crazy they're coming out of that fast left-hander that's such a good advantage of almost a second well there was a second at one stage wasted it all <laughs> the delta was amazing at one stage for me at least Love and I'm done with this race, I'm not coming back to it. <laughs> I hit the cross there.
now I gain all that back, or most of it. And it's my uh, personal best as well for that car, on that truck. But that race, obviously, the last attempt was just uh, pure stupid. Uh, the AI from being so much quicker suddenly uh, went to being nowhere to be found. Uh, really bad implementation of difficulty levels in Assetto Corsa, bar Kunus. Uh, a bit pointless to have something to have so many difficulty levels where uh, where the middle difficulty levels are, uh, there is no much difference between them, and then suddenly the slowest one is so 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 much slower. Um, I don't know why it it looks like that. Obviously, I know that this is an old game, so there is no chance for uh, for any changes in terms of uh, patch or update. But I guess we have to live with it and uh, and enjoy what we have. And still, the driving model is really good, and that's the course. Also, I won't be complaining there. There is one more race to do in this uh, in this series. Uh, I spent so much time on that one that I'm not really sure I want to do another one. Um, just checking my time. It's uh, it's five o'clock. So that uh, that Ferrari went from two minutes thirty seconds on medium to two minutes thirty eight on um, easy where it was still way faster than I was maybe 240 on easy to 250 on on <sighs> yeah a long story anyway it shows first that's what I wanted uh, what's the last race the last race is Monza there's no other circuit with longer straight lines than Monza. If there's one place where the SLS AMG can stretch its legs, this is it. I'm still not sure because um, the Ferrari and the McLaren were both faster on straights than me. Uh, difficulty is the first thing to... I'm going back to medium and I'm going to start. I'm going to try it. The least I can do. So as usually, a few changes. Uh, well, a one change, and that, and this changes the fuel level. Let's reduce it. We don't need so much. Okay, so let's keep that, and let's try. There's definitely uh, some more space for improvement. This was my first attempt, but I'm nowhere fast at the moment to to be able to compete with uh, with this, that AI. Uh, let's just see. So the first one was 53. That's what we saw, and it's that stage three Italia 458. It's the same the same car I was racing against in Spa. It's a beast. Uh, the F40 step three is really quick as well. 56. Then the two McLarens, there they're doing two minutes. I know that with the few restarts, the McLaren would definitely slow down. Step three. Uh, two McLarens, MP412C, and one Ferrari 458 Italia stage three. That Ferrari was a nightmare at Spa. And I tried this race a few times on medium. And that Ferrari is a nightmare here, here as well. 10 seconds quicker per lap. Uh, my laps are around 2 minutes 3 seconds, I think. Maybe 2 minutes 4 seconds. Um, I couldn't do anything against that Ferrari on medium difficulty. It was just so freaking fast. So I reduced the difficulty to easy. And I'll be trying the same right now. Setup is default. Not much to change here really, uh, just reduced fuel. So let's give it a try. I think we 
watched her. Okay, good start. Not sure where the McLaren is behind me. It's good. So the Ferrari is driving away. It's pulling away, and uh, the McLaren. Well, I'm not sure how it's going to behave in, in, in the braking zones. There's cars in front of me. They definitely a bit of acceleration. Yep. They bump into me there. Okay, so I'm P2, that is better than a medium difficulty. The question is how fast the Ferrari is on easy. I still have very easy, but I would love to avoid going uh, that low in difficulty. Looks like on straight that Ferrari is a beast. After all, it's it's home, sorry, home race, right? What's up? The description of the dress said that this Mercedes will stretch its legs on this long straight, but <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that those McLarens and Ferraris are still quicker when it comes to the pure acceleration and speed. I think they're also lighter. So they're better in corners. That Mercedes actually is only good against other Mercedes uh, cars. You cannot compete really with this 458 Italia in stage 3 upgrades. Okay, that was crazy. It basically stopped there. I barely avoided it, so I think what is happening on easy difficulty that Ferrari became too easy, I would say, because now it's uh, slowing way too early, or it's braking way too early. See, the, the difference between the difficulties is so huge because on medium it was 10 seconds quicker, on easy it's significantly slower. And um, I don't know what it would be doing on very easy standing, not driving at all, or like doing what, 3 minutes per lap? Oh, it's a shame. Uh, if they slowed it down by 2 seconds per difficulty level, that probably would balance it nicely, but with with what we're getting here, it's just a bit pointless. Not really fun racing like that, but... Uh, it is what it is, that's also the Corsa. I had a fun race, uh, an eSport, an online race yesterday. A bunch of guys. That was really fun. Uh, quite competitive at one stage of the race, was uh, having a good fight for P1. Uh, I was P1 at the start and I lost it in pits. And I was chasing P2. Uh, it was uh, bumper to wing for a few laps. Unfortunately, uh, the guy who was on P1 made a mistake. And I was able to pull away. And um, yeah, unfortunately, the, the second half, more or less, the second half of the race was uh, fightless. Just pulling away on P1. But it still was, uh, it was, still was fun. A bit late on brakes here. Uh, there's so much more uh, emotions when it comes to online racing against. Uh, leading opponent. But at the same time I want to finish that uh, career in Assetto Corsa.
It just would be great if the the fight, you know, the, the competing field was more even. It would be even hard if. If those uh, McLarens were the best cars and the Ferrari stage 3 would have been there, there probably would be manageable to medium difficulty. Or if the difficulty... The difficulty skill level of opponents would be fixed, that probably would also solve a lot of problems. By the way, the time of 2 minutes, 2 seconds and 0.832, I think it's my personal best. Final up. But even if that time I, I had zero chance uh, with that Ferrari on medium, it would still 8 seconds quicker. Eight, 7 to 8 seconds. for new pet PB. Yes, unfortunately this uh, became too easy in comparison to medium, where it was just from undoable to too easy. Just by reducing one difficulty level, well, not much I can do about it. But it's still, yeah, so that Ferrari dropped from 1 minute 54 times to 2 minutes uh, 5 seconds times uh, just by reducing difficulty. But that's how it is in Astacorsa. Be prepared for that if you ever plan to do any career. <laughs> 